Heal the healer. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Yeah, anyway, they got some sort of guy named the Protector. I don't know if he's dead yet, but kill him first. Yeah, I know. He is a kind of warrior mage or something like that. Well, he's dead now, it seems. Well, pursue him then. Don't give him a chance to escape. Trust me, I will not. Will you please die already? There you go. Dumb horse. Well, we should have turned them into glue. Yep. Only one group remaining. Well. Before we had to face the entire army. Well, one group of those that are blocking the refugees. Okay. Them. Leave those civilians alone. One civilian down. Have a taste of this. And there went the last one. Damn it. I don't really know if they expect us to actually make it here in time. Well, at least the rest will make it through. Hopefully. Ow. That had to hurt. Seems like someone actually got through before they were cut off. So that's something. Alright. Ranger Olsen is here. Uh oh. Should I? Or should. Did you talk to the ranger? No, I'm trying to protect the refugee over here. Alright, moving in. Didn't exactly work out, but oh well, I tried. That's gotta come for something. Yeah. Please die already! You need to die! Cobra, I need some help over here. This guy will not die! And he brought friends! Well, then we'll just kill his friends. Those guys, I swear, are like schoolyard bullies. If they cannot handle you themselves, they get friends. Just as dumb as they are. Well, we didn't manage to save the guy, but, well, we tried. Did we not see this guy before, Ranger Olsen? Maybe, I can, I don't know. Anyway, we are fortunate to have your assistance. Aiden has gone on ahead into the ice caves to scout the way for you to take the refugee through. Master Seeker Nathaniel awaits you in Griffin's mouth with further instruction. So what was it now? Uh, well, I think he uh, wants us to go on ahead. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Cobra, I think I have some both good news and bad news in one. Remember when we turned it this uh, Hungry Devourer thing? Yep. I think when I talked to him, it actually took all the quest items from both our inventories and somehow that made sure that you only completed the quest. I will just be a side chapter in the famous history. Did you talk to him afterwards? Yes, I'm pretty sure I did talk to him. Uh, hold on a moment. Okay, is it because the quest says Hunker Devour completed? Let me see. Yes, it says Hungry Devour completed. Yeah, well, we have to talk, say, tell Sable and he doesn't have to worry anymore. Ah, uh, okay, okay, fine. You know, the thing I wanted to do, but you said, hey, we gotta kill the Centaurs first, that'll be easier. Okay, I just misunderstood the situation. Which will not be the first time, man. Uh, Creepy! Why is it that it just turned dark even before we entered the cave? 
environmental effect with a bit big to bit of an area. It's okay. cool enough for getting in here, but they probably just extended the area a bit far too much. But it's cool enough in here. Really gives the impression you're under a thick layer of ice. Yeah. I do not do so well with ice. Oh, we got to Griffin's mouth. That means we can walk back and deliver this quest once we get in here, I hope. Unless this is like a new area. Is this a new quest area? No, it's not. It's an explorable area. Okay, we'll just move on. We can always walk back later if need be. This cave is confusing and perilous. You don't want to take a wrong turn or you'll end up wandering in the cold until you die. Aiden has scouted the way ahead and my wolf can help you track him. Follow Aiden's markers to get safely through. They look like nothing more than pebbles at first, but you'll learn to spot them if you're paying attention. Take these men with you to help Aiden fortify his position. Okay. You know, I have to admit something. This guy has some fucking cool armor. White Mantle. Wasn't this the guys that uh, the ambassador talked about? What? White Mantle. Wasn't that the, guy, the guys the ambassador all the way back in Ascalon talked about? Yeah, a White Mantle Knight. And, uh, so he must be one of their warriors. And I... a White Mantle Seeker. Okay, nice to have some assistance. It's nice to see that Kryt is actually willing to uh, accept the refugees. So not only do they send their rangers, but also some of their knights. Yep. But then again, I was skeptical quite at first, but yeah. Mark of height. Okay. You're but to be honest, their knights sort of look like paladins. Hmm. Well, they are holy knights, so... Well. Okay, so how did the mark look? It was just something that was glowing on the ground. I just picked it up. I did not really much care for how it looked. Well, it's supposed to mark which way we're supposed to go, so it would be yeah, nice. Yeah, it would be nice, uh, I know, but I get the feeling that we are heading in the right direction. Okay, it indicates with the map which way we should go, so that's... Yeah, hold on. I know that you are in a hurry, but I would prefer if our escort is also alive when we get out of here. Oh yeah, yeah, just keep an eye on things, you know. Why is the mark moving? That's very strange. Uh-oh. Just a single item. We can handle that. Yeah. I swear, I want me some armor like this knight. Well, there's a mark of item over here. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You really do not understand the word hold on, do you? I clicked the mark and then I stopped. Less scythe. Just wait up, okay? But you know, the seeker could probably run faster, but I'm not thinking he wants to abandon his friend. Understandable. We have arrived. Okay, moving ahead, you two. Ready? Yes. Fight. And it's curtains for the snow engines. Well, now it is, at least. You know, they, I do not know why, but the mark on the back of this knight's cave sort of reminds me of that white tree of Gondor. Okay. Ah, another mark over there. Wonderful. Uh, can I, by the way, say something funny? You can try. Well, if you can consider it funny, according to a new program I watched, Medieval Knights, the real ones, were actually, as he described, a mix between your local serial killer and rapist. Well, somewhere. I mean, so they really, were... I'm knights say, were a class. They were probably both really good guys and really bad guys. And a vocational girl. 
Yeah. But yeah, they were not the be all end all of shiny heroics and chivalry. They could be downright nasty if need be. Or if need not need be, just fancy. Knights yeah. were people with all that entails. Yeah. And now I'm being pounded into paste. Help! Lay off the And now I am the dead. Bleh. Just give me a moment. I just need to fight off these guys. So yeah, for a short moment there, before my healer fixed me, we I got to experience how it was to be the world's flattest necromancer. Ah, uh, do not let it keep you down. Nah. <laughs> well, I never did like being a two-dimensional character. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the highly salvageable axe. I might get you some good metal now. Maybe. No, wait, it just became wood. Come forth, you uh, frightened warriors. White mantles as you are. We still need your help. Yeah. Okay, that guy looks angry. Those two... Okay, it was just one guy. One of them looks exceptionally big. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Some species don't name their heroes. They're just the alpha, apparently. That's actually quite interesting. Yeah. Maybe they just do not really have the intelligence to just say, okay, that is what it is. Probably not. They're probably humanoid animals. And like, most of the bigger ones actually can use this uh, healing signet thing that I also can use. Hmm. I would probably say that Etins and Minotaurs, from what I've seen, they're probably more like apes by nature. You know, they're humanoid in build, but they're not intelligent like we are. Yeah, but I can already imagine something that is also funny. Can you imagine, when these two get back to Krita, those white metal guys, what they're going to talk about the next time they hit the tavern? Oh, and we escorted these adventurers, and then we were almost pounded to pieces by some kind of hawking maniac. You never really know the stories of the NPCs. Oh god! That actually made me curious. Do you know any stories that is actually told from the perspective of a, you know, side character or something like that? Well... Moby Dick? Oh, well, I have not read that one. Well, it's pretty hard because most often the one telling the story is the protagonist for obvious reasons. But sometimes it's told for someone on the sidelines and Moby Dick is one of them. Yeah, I really did not read so many of those classics. The only one I ever read call reading was uh, um, the talisman Ivanhoe and around the world in 80 days okay the last one however is still a classic to me I don't think I read that one or well, I might maybe some time ago doesn't matter where oh, oh, oh hold on hold on that King Jails is a Jalis is a giant amongst dwarves ha 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 very funny but we just need to wait for an escort that's okay we got some entertainment coming along while we wait yeah, you just deal with that. I just make sure they get here. Okay, fine. You brought the entertainment to me. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Well, seriously, I want the son of that armor that the knight is carrying. Maybe you can buy some in Kryter. Maybe, I hope so. And that wolf snow there. I do not know if I told you, but I sort of like wolves. Those are cool animals. But then again, I also like large cats. Um, those two, are they coming or what? Yeah, I think so. Hello, Aiden. Uh-oh. More trouble. Huh, the knight 